take a look at this. This is the longer LK4X 3D printer. We're not talking about that today. We'll talk about this probably Friday, a couple days from now. Because today, we need to come up with something to print on it. And that's going to be our mission today. Today's video is brought to you by Solder Stick. Solder Stick makes quick, waterproof wire connections that last a long time and protect whatever it is you're working on. They sell different types of connectors, everything from T-tap connectors, which allow you to put a splice into the middle of a wire without having to cut the wire or remove any insulation. Waterproof uh, melt butt connector kits. Spade connector kits, which if you work on cars or boats, you know how useful they will be. And the same goes for ring connectors. When you need to connect a wire to something with a nut and a bolt, this is simply the way to do it. Solder stick. Remember them for all of your wire connection needs. There's a link down below for a discount. So here's my idea for something for us to print on the new printer. This is a Pomona test leaf holder. It has 10 slots, as you can see here. Uh, let's see, three and a half inches from front to back. 11 inches long, 10 slots. I think we can do that. What do you guys think? Wish I had a different view. I don't see anything. That's, uh, that's good enough. Let's over. Okay, so here we are up in Tinkercad, which is a free online 3D design program. And the reason I like to use it is because I don't have any training. in like 3D design or anything. Hopefully those are millimeters. Uh, at least I can find out. Yep, the grid's in millimeters. So I want this to be 30 millimeters. It's going to be my length. And let's see our width. We want it to be about three inches, so that's what? 75 millimeters. Okay, this ain't right. It's supposed to be 130. Yeah, 130. Here we go. 130. I want to say 75. Good. Now I can get the height of this. Bring it down to like about 2 millimeters. Then I can take this, which is an inside box, 
and I want the inside box. to have a width of about four millimeters. So if we take this, we make it four millimeters. We make this one about 60. The height on this is not really important. So we should be able to take this and place it in here. And that will give us our holes. I should be able to duplicate this somehow. Oh, control D, how about that? So as you can see, I now have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 16 of them, there you go. And now what we can do is we can group this entire thing together. Now we have this. So we're almost, almost done. This is going to be really simple. We're simply going to put another box here. You make it as long as this one, which is what? 130. So we'll say 130 there. You just kind of want to take this box. That about two millimeters, then we're going to walk that right back to the end, like so. Get them adjusted on here. So far, so good. Lots of me swinging this around, looking at different angles. That's just kind of what we do. We'll do this again, and we'll join that all together. So it's now all one piece. Very cool. Then we can put in some text. <clears throat> so let's start. Our text is going to say... I want to try again. Test lead hold air. And we will make this, you know, considerably, considerably smaller here. Then we shall rotate it. Once I find the, there we go. Come on. 90? Are you 90 or are you at 270? What is, what'll it be? All right, 90 it is.
And now I think it's control and up. Yep. See if we can kind of center that a little bit and make sure it's not poking through the back, which it's not. Because it's not even touching anything, so we'll just make it. Make sure it touches. There we go. That should be sticking out a little bit. Yeah. There we go. Some stick out there. All right. So now we need mounting holes. So again, we're going to use a hole. And it is going to be five millimeter by five millimeter, which is about the size of a uh, drywall screw join everything together oh look at that we're gonna have to take this bring it out the front a little bit more Maybe more like that. Okay, time. Slap it again. There we go. There we go. Not too bad at all. Now, I want to put in a couple gussets. No, that's not going to work. I need a, uh, need a 90 degree. There we go. That's what I want. Whoops, the hell? Huh? Oh, let me put this flat. All right. Let's try that one more time. I think I made a mistake somewhere. All right. Now what I want to do, take this and go 180. Now we're talking. Make that real skinny. And let's make it kind of smaller there. Now let's bring that guy in.
right at the edge like that. And then we'll duplicate it and slide it over to the other side. There we go. Little gussets to make hanging a little bit easier. Now we can make them all one piece. Yeah. Now we've got a holder that we can slide some cables into and 3D print. I think that'll be pretty cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons and a big thanks to our sponsor in this video, Solder Stick Wire Connectors. Check them out. There's a link and a discount code for you down below. That's it. I'm out. Peace.